In our last video, we had shared the story of how the exotic civet coffee is extracted from the coffee beans of stool of civets and the coffee thus produced fetches 25,000 rupees per kg. How do you feel if I tell you that the very stool of some animals fetch crores and not just thousands? Amazed? Shocked? Hi, I am Basak from Savana Safari. That's S-A-V-A-N-A -A -A Safari. As a wildlife enthusiast, I speak and write on the wonders of Mother Nature. And I specifically undertake customized adventure tours to Kenya and Tanzania. Ambergris, also known as whale vomit, is a type of stool of sperm whale valued at rupees 1 crore per kg. Yes, you heard me right. 1 crore for 1 kg of ambergris. Surprised as you are, you would also be appalled to know that because of this valuable extract, sperm whales have been killed mercilessly till from a population of 11 lakhs, today it is reduced to just 3 lakhs. This massacre happened because only 5% of sperm whales yield ambergris. In fact, the sperm whale has no control on production of ambergris. They enjoy squid beaks. So, squids form their normal diet and they consume thousands of squids daily. Under normal circumstances, it digests the squids and passes stool, which is of no value. Only on certain occasions, the remains of the squids, while passing through the whale's four compartmented stomach, get stuck in one of them and undergoes a miraculous change by the bile secreted therein. Subsequently, this substance emerges from the body of the whale as ambergris and starts floating on the surface of the sea as a white, waxy material. It reaches the shore after several years, dries up under the sun, solidifies and becomes useful for humans. Ambergris is a precious ingredient of the perfume industry wherein it is used as a fixative agent that ensures that the scent remains longer. No wonder it has been of use for mankind for centuries and because of its beautiful inherent smell was used as incense by the Egyptians even in ancient times. At present, killing of sperm whales has been stopped and commercial dealing of ambergris is prohibited. You may recall that just a month back, five persons were apprehended with 26 crores worth of ambergris by the forest department of Thani. Nayuru was a small 21 square kilometer island in South Pacific with an impoverished population of 7,000. For millions of years, Birds flying around the islands rested on this island and while resting they would also poop thus covering the whole of island with thousands of tons of bird poop. This bird poop locally called guano was of little use to the inhabitants but was rich in phosphate a key ingredient of modern agricultural fertilizer. In 1968 when the island got independence a dramatic change took place in the island. The government realized that the island was sitting on a gold mine of unexploited bird poop and decided to harvest it in a very big way for phosphate. It became a rats to riches story for Nayuru. Overnight, it became one of the richest nation on earth and earned the sobrope of Kuwait of Pacific. Within a few years, it was earning billions of dollars from the export of bird poop. In 1975 alone, it earned $2.5 billion. With a meager population of 7,000 per capita, income of the island nation became second highest in the world. People started riding Rolls Royce, 
and the state started owning luxurious hotels across the Pacific and Far East. So friends, next time the crow poops on you, don't curse it. Curse yourself that you cannot harvest tons of it of this poop. And do thank the sperm whale's poop when the perfume you bought from Paris stays on your clothes for days. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel and join me in this amazing journey where I bring you face to face with the cradle of civilization. Savannah Safari, your tryst with adventure.